you've ever taken a trip to Thomasville, staying on Radium Springs Road the whole way, you're driving on a little piece of southwest Georgia history. The route is full of landmarks, and because of that, local officials are trying to get the road officially designated as a scenic bypass. They say just that designation will bring in more tourists and thus more money for our local economy. It will bring in tourism and it will bring in economic development that individuals say, well, I read about that in the past and now in actuality I'm on this route. As you're traveling down the scenic bypass, leaving Mitchell County and heading into Doherty County, one of the things you're going to see along the route is this historical arch built back in the early 1900s. The arch is there and it's one of the only um, two remaining um, historic features on the Dixie Highway. Besides just landmarks, you'll see pecan trees, Radium Springs, the Flint River, and a host of other Southwest Georgia treasures. As I said before, naming the route a scenic bypass will bring money to the city without costing a dime. It will not cost the city any money. The uh, Dixie Highway Advisory Council will actually be the ones who will go after grants to get the signage and to do the marketing and to get the promotion. There are about 26 steps involved in naming the highway a historical scenic bypass, and the Dixie Highway Advisory Council is on step 11 right now. Courtney Highfield, Fox 31 News.